<laughs> what are you doing? You're in my shot. You're in my shot. You're in my shot. Go get you. Yeah, pull that goose grass. All right, well, it seems to be, let me pause my music. It seems to be a reoccurring theme on my uh, channel. Me and goose grass. Yeah, good old goose grass. As you can see, it's always about this time of year, about mid-July, when it starts getting hot, all the grass starts to get a little crispy, and uh, not much growth is going on right now, except for that stuff. That's goose grass. This is like the third video I've made about goose grass. This year's different, y'all. We're trying out a new product, which I think is the first time it's been available to homeowners an herbicide or herbicide however you want to say it a herbicide that is geared for crabgrass and goosegrass and like grassy type weeds usually weed killer doesn't kill this stuff because it's a type of grass and the stuff that they did make that would kill just goosegrass and crabgrass Premer after it's already grown and you have to want to kill it but not kill your grass that wasn't available to homeowners until now haha -ha. so let's go take a look at it if you don't know all of those dark green patches just in case you don't know it, that's what goose grass is it's this really annoying really crappy grass that looks a lot like crabgrass that's goose grass that's crabgrass so as you can tell, I have a problem this year, but it's always in the same spots. It's always along the sidewalk, all in through here, and then along the fence line, and then just randomly, and then Kyle likes to eat it sometimes. And it's always bad over here along the sidewalk too. Like just there, there's a big old tuft of it right there. And then all along the sidewalk over here, all this dark green stuff, that's all goose grass. It's an annoyance more than anything because it grows faster than regular grass. You could, I just cut this grass, I don't know, three days ago, and it's already taller than the grass. So not only is it annoying and it looks like crap, it grows faster, so it makes your yard look really bushy and unkempt. So I didn't think it was going to be as bad this year because it's not really as bad as it was last year. But I thought I was going to be in the clear. I got it all last year. No, it came back. So this year, we got some new products to try out, right? All right, look at this. It's called Image All-in-One Lawn Weed Killer. And it specifically says crabgrass, dandelion, nut sedge, which is another thing that's a grassy weed that normal weed killer doesn't kill. We're gonna try this stuff out because it specifically says, I will open up to the page of listed weeds that it kills. Goosegrass, boom, right there. You can look at any other weed killer and it will not specifically list goosegrass. So this stuff is a miracle. Because now I don't have to go out there and pick them all by hand like I did last year. The, how I've dealt with goosegrass in the past is I actually go around with a little squirt bottle of Roundup. And I just do little tufts, just like squirt, squirt, squirt. So it leaves big dead spots in your yard, but that's really the only way I could uh, get rid of it. Or pick them by hand. And that really sucks too. So this year, we're not going to do that. And since it's right now, it's a nice 84 degrees i think most weed killers they don't want you spraying if it's above like 90 degrees so but this stuff doesn't say that because this grass only grows in the summer but i've read through all the instructions it doesn't have uh, like a minimum temperature or a maximum temperature but just as a precaution i would probably not do it above 90 because then you run the chance of killing your good grass because it's just it's already baking in the sun then having weed killer on top of it. So I would do it in the evening, like right now, when there's no sun, so your grass isn't gonna fry. I'm gonna go ahead and go do this. Uh, the mixture is four ounces per gallon. Says you should see results in about two days, two to three days. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I don't I don't have to pick them by hand. Oh, it's so good. No, I'm not gonna kiss it, that's a, that's a chemical. So, all right, I will come back to you guys in about three days and we will check the progress 
of how good it works. Today is Wednesday and I sprayed on a Monday and I'm already getting some pretty good results. Check it out. Uh, yep, I would say that's dying. I would say all of this is dying. Check out all that. Going, help me, help me. Let's go check out the front. We're getting some pretty good results. Check that out. That stuff's all turned to yellow. Nice. The goosegrass is taking a beating. Look at that stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Loving it. I sprayed all this. Pretty much all of that is dying. And then over here, I sprayed all this. And then I stopped right there. So look at the rest of the goosegrass. All that green stuff isn't even like just rah, still growing but then you can see where I stopped and it's taking a beating now there's the crabgrass so the crabgrass is definitely taking a beating I'll see you guys in another I don't know four days we'll see what it looks like after four days because right now it's looking pretty awesome it's only been two Woo! <laughs> Take that, you dirty weeds. Well, here we are. After, it's been two weeks since I've used the image all-in-one. And I'm so far getting pretty good results. I think I'm going to have to go back and touch up some of the weeds I either missed or just some of the tougher ones. You can definitely tell. That stuff's definitely taking a beating. There's a lot of yellowing going on. That's definitely dying. But then when you look a little further, there's some goosegrass that's hardly been affected. That little patch is hardly really of being affected. So I either miss those or I don't know. Because throughout the entire yard, I'm pretty sure I walked the entire yard and sprayed most of the patches, especially where it was really thick, mostly along the sidewalks. That's where the warmer, next to the warm sidewalks, these weeds like the goosegrass and crabgrass, that's where it really thrives. So I really hit those hard and it's definitely showing signs that it's not doing good. It might die maybe after I mow it, which I'm about to do here in a little bit, maybe that'll really finish it off. But I think there's some spots I'm gonna have to go back and go over twice, which should be okay. It shouldn't burn the lawn as long as I just don't spray the whole lawn again because it's only been two weeks, which actually two weeks was probably good. They probably recommend hitting them up again in two weeks. I like my pretty sunflowers? Ooh, so pretty. So these right here, this little batch, all this, and then all along the front of my yard, I'm sorry, my weeds are really bad right now. But all of this stuff, that's really taking a beating, but then mixed within those patches are patches that seem like they're not even affected by it. So, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, cause I still need to do a couple more spots that I didn't even hit the first time I sprayed. So I wanna mix up one more batch, hit up next to the road, and then go back through here and kind of touch up, maybe go over these one more time to really knock them out. I say overall, this stuff works really good. There's no other weed killer on the market that kills goosegrass pre post emergent. So the fact that it's actually doing something and it's not killing the regular grass, that's a good sign. In general, goosegrass and crabgrass, it's just hard to kill. I think a, a second application over the top of it it, that would really seal the deal on it. Look throughout the yard, you can definitely tell it's, it's doing its job. It's really doing some hurting on that one. And then here's some crabgrass. You can definitely tell when it starts turning red like that, it's hurting it pretty good. And then I got some uh, nut sedge over here that it completely wiped out. There's the nut sedge. It does really good on nut sedge. So all in all, my final verdict is good stuff. 
I think it's just going to take a second coating on some of the tougher ones, some of the bigger ones to really knock them out. But some of the young ones, they're already dead. So I'm pretty pleased. I think it actually worked out pretty good. In the ending, I hope you guys have learned something. Hopefully you've found what you were looking for here. Two things. One, if you're going to plant grass seed this fall, make sure you allow four weeks four whole weeks for this stuff to work before you plant grass because it will not let your grass grow. Another thing was if you use spreader sticker, um, you don't have to use spreader sticker with this stuff. Uh, apparently it won't work right. I don't really know why, that's just what I've read and what I've researched. So other than that, uh, have fun this fall renovating your lawn. I know I'm gonna have some renovations to do because my lawn is looking a little eh. But it's just because it's been hot, it's dormant. I don't think I've seen any dead spots. You know when grass is dead? When it turns a grayish color. Right now, my lawn is mostly a lot of brown. Like, especially up, up here in the front, that whole, the whole front lawn, it's all brown. It's not gray, so that means it's just dormant. So don't freak out when your lawn starts turning brown and you're like, what am I doing? It's okay, it's summer, that's just what it does. So if your yard is turning brown, it's fine. It, the, the grass is going dormant. It should be back to normal by mid-September once the temperatures come down and we get some rain. But if it's gray, then that's where we have to reseed. Hope you guys have enjoyed my first time using the Image all-in-one weed killer. It's good stuff. And I, I got this stuff at Westlake Hardware um, I don't know if that's nationwide, but I know that's the only place in my town that carries it. I think Walmart and Lowe's and like the big box stores do, but it's an online thing. You have to order it online and then they'll ship it in. So, but if you want it now, then just call your local hardware stores, your garden centers and all that. And until the next video, um, which on my channel, you never know what it's going to be. Whether music, uh, camera, garden, I don't know. We'll find out what we do next. I'll holler at you guys later and have fun in your yard because that's what it's all about. All right.